Imagine a journey that began over four decades ago, a journey that has taken humanity's most enduring spacecraft beyond the farthest reaches of our solar system into the great unknown of interstellar space. This is the story of Voyager 1, a tale of discovery, mystery, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge that continues to push the boundaries of what we understand about the universe. In 1977, NASA launched Voyager 1, a spacecraft destined to change our understanding of space forever. Initially designed for a four-year mission to explore the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 1 has far surpassed its original goals, venturing into unexplored territories billions of miles from Earth. Over 45 years later, it continues to send back data that not only baffles scientists but also challenges the very foundations of what we know about the cosmos. As Voyager 1 journeys into the uncharted regions of space, it uncovers secrets that even the most seasoned scientists find unsettling. What lies ahead in its path? Join us as we explore the extraordinary and shocking discoveries made by Voyager 1, a spacecraft that has truly redefined the possible. Voyager 1's mission began in a time when the world was just starting to grasp the potential of space exploration. Launched on September 5, 1977, just 15 days after its twin, Voyager 2, the spacecraft was equipped with what was considered cutting-edge technology at the time. Yet, compared to today's standards, the technology on board Voyager 1 was rudimentary, its computer system had just 69 kilobytes of memory, less than what we find in the simplest digital devices today. However, it was this simplicity, coupled with brilliant engineering, that allowed Voyager 1 to endure the harsh conditions of space for over four decades. Initially, Voyager 1's primary mission was to study the gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn, and their moons. It was part of NASA's grand tour of the outer planets, a plan that capitalized on a rare planetary alignment that occurs only once every 176 years. This alignment allowed the spacecraft to use the gravitational pull of the planets to slingshot its way through the solar system, reducing the time and energy required to reach these distant worlds. Gary Flandreau, an engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, discovered this opportunity in 1965, laying the groundwork for what would become one of the most successful space missions in history. As Voyager 1 journeyed through space, it sent back images and data that transformed our understanding of the solar system. The spacecraft's flyby of Jupiter in 1979 revealed the planet's complex weather systems, including the Great Red Spot, a massive storm larger than Earth that has been raging for centuries. More surprising were the discoveries made about Jupiter's moons, particularly Io, which was found to be the most volcanically active body in the solar system. These findings challenged pre-existing notions about the nature of moons, previously thought to be inert and lifeless, similar to Earth's own moon. The surprises didn't stop there. In 1980, Voyager 1 flew by Saturn, uncovering its intricate ring system and discovering new moons orbiting the gas giant. The spacecraft provided unprecedented insights into Titan, Saturn's largest moon, which was found to have a thick atmosphere composed primarily of nitrogen, a characteristic that led scientists to draw comparisons to early Earth. These discoveries not only expanded our knowledge of the outer planets but also raised new questions about the potential for life in other parts of the solar system. After completing its primary mission, Voyager 1 was not done. NASA decided to extend its mission, sending it on a path that would eventually take it out of the solar system and into interstellar space. This journey into the unknown began in earnest after Voyager 1's encounter with Saturn. The spacecraft was directed towards the edge of the solar system, a region scientists knew little about. This area, known as the Heliopause, is the boundary where the sun's influence ends and the interstellar medium begins. It's a vast, turbulent region where the solar wind, a stream of charged particles emitted by the sun, collides with the particles and magnetic fields of interstellar space. Before Voyager 1's mission, estimates of the distance to the Heliopause varied widely, and there was much debate among scientists about what conditions the spacecraft would encounter as it approached this boundary. As Voyager 1 ventured further from the Sun, it began to experience changes in its environment. The intensity of the solar wind started to diminish, and the spacecraft detected an increase in cosmic rays, high-energy particles that originate outside the solar system. These signs suggested that Voyager 1 was nearing the heliopause, but the exact location of this boundary remained uncertain. Finally, on August 25, 2012, Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, becoming the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. 
This momentous event was confirmed by the detection of a significant increase in cosmic rays and a change in the direction of the magnetic field surrounding the spacecraft. However, the data Voyager 1 sent back was puzzling. Contrary to expectations, the magnetic field did not shift as anticipated when the spacecraft crossed into interstellar space. Instead, it appeared that Voyager 1 was still within a region influenced by the Sun's magnetic field, leading to new questions and debates among scientists about the true nature of the heliopause. Probing the heliosphere's limits, the heliosphere, the bubble of space dominated by the Sun's magnetic field and solar wind, is a dynamic and complex region. It expands and contracts in response to the Sun's 11-year activity cycle, and its outer boundary, the heliopause, is shaped by the interactions between the solar wind and the interstellar medium. Understanding the structure and behavior of the heliosphere is crucial for understanding how the Sun influences its surroundings and protects the solar system from cosmic radiation. Voyager 1's journey into interstellar space provided an unprecedented opportunity to study the heliosphere from the outside. The spacecraft's instruments detected small fluctuations in the magnetic field near the heliopause, suggesting that the boundary is not a simple, smooth surface but a region of complex interactions. However, the overall stability of the magnetic field over larger distances puzzled scientists, leading to debates about whether Voyager 1 had truly left the heliosphere or if it was still within a region influenced by the Sun. Adding to the mystery, Voyager 2, which followed a different path and crossed the heliopause in November 2018, did not detect any significant changes in the magnetic field, further complicating the picture. This discrepancy between the two spacecraft's observations has fueled ongoing discussions among scientists about the structure of the heliosphere and the nature of the interstellar medium. One of the key questions that remains unanswered is whether the heliosphere has a clear, distinct boundary or if it gradually transitions into the interstellar medium. Some scientists believe that Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 of May still be within the outermost regions of the heliosphere, where the influence of the Sun's magnetic field is weaker but still present. Others argue that the increase in cosmic rays and plasma density observed by both spacecraft indicates that they have indeed entered interstellar space. One of the most remarkable aspects of the Voyager mission is the longevity and resilience of the spacecraft. Built with technology that is now over 50 years old, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were designed to operate for just four years, long enough to complete their primary mission of exploring Jupiter and Saturn. Yet, these spacecraft have continued to function for more than four decades, sending back data from distances that were unimaginable when they were launched. The Voyager spacecraft are powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, which convert heat from the radioactive decay of plutonium-238 into electricity. However, the power output of the RTGs decreases by about 4 watts per year, requiring NASA to carefully manage the spacecraft's energy resources. Over the years, engineers have had to make difficult decisions about which instruments to keep running and which to turn off in order to conserve power. Despite these challenges, both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have exceeded all expectations. Voyager 1 still has four working instruments, and Voyager 2 has five. These instruments continue to provide valuable data about the environment of interstellar space, helping scientists to better understand the conditions that exist beyond the influence of the Sun. In recent years, NASA engineers have had to take additional steps to extend the life of the Voyager spacecraft. In 2019, they turned off the heater for the cosmic ray detector on Voyager 2, a critical instrument for detecting when the spacecraft exits the heliosphere. Despite operating in temperatures far colder than it was designed to withstand, the cosmic ray detector has continued to function, a testament to the durability of the spacecraft's design. Looking ahead, NASA hopes to keep the Voyager spacecraft operational until at least 2030. However, as the power output of the RTGs continues to decline, it will become increasingly difficult to keep the spacecraft's instruments running. Eventually, the Voyagers will fall silent, their signals fading as they drift further into the vastness of interstellar space. The Voyager mission is not just a story of technological achievement, it is also a story of human curiosity and the desire to explore the unknown. The data and images sent back by Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have fundamentally changed our understanding of the solar system and the universe beyond. These spacecraft have provided us with our first close-up views of the outer planets and their moons, revealing a richness and diversity that was previously unimaginable. 
The Voyager mission has also sparked new questions and inspired a new generation of scientists and engineers to continue the exploration of space. The discoveries made by Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have led to the development of new theories and models, some of which have been confirmed by subsequent missions, while others remain the subject of ongoing research and debate. One of the most iconic aspects of the Voyager mission is the Golden Record, a 12-inch gold-plated copper disc that was attached to both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. The Golden Record contains sounds and images selected to portray the diversity of life and culture on Earth, intended as a message to any extraterrestrial intelligence that might encounter the spacecraft in the distant future. The inclusion of the Golden Record reflects the optimism and vision of the Voyager mission a belief that humanity's reach should extend beyond our own planet and that our exploration of space is a journey of discovery, not just for ourselves, but for all intelligent beings. As Voyager 1 continues its journey into interstellar space, it carries with it the hopes and dreams of all humanity. It serves as a reminder of what we can achieve when we dare to dream big and push the boundaries of what is possible. The discoveries made by Voyager 1 have opened new doors of knowledge, and its journey is far from over. As it continues to travel through the cosmos, who knows what other secrets it might uncover. One of the most poignant aspects of the Voyager mission is the realization that these spacecraft will eventually cease to communicate with Earth. As Voyager 1 travels further into interstellar space, the distance between it and Earth increases by about 17 kilometers per second, making it increasingly difficult to maintain a strong signal. Eventually, the spacecraft will reach a point where it can no longer transmit data back to Earth, and its journey will continue in silence. However, even after Voyager 1 stopped sending back data, its mission will not be over. The spacecraft will continue to drift through the galaxy, a silent emissary from Earth, carrying the golden record and the legacy of its journey. In about 40,000 years, Voyager 1 will pass within 1.6 light years of the star Gliese 445, in the constellation Camelopardalis, long after humanity's current civilizations have ceased to exist. In this way, Voyager 1 will continue to explore the cosmos, even when it is no longer able to communicate with us. The data and images sent back by Voyager 1 over the past four decades have not only expanded our understanding of the solar system but have also provided a new perspective on our place in the universe. The famous pale blue dot image, taken by Voyager 1 in 1990 from a distance of about 6 billion kilometers, shows Earth as a tiny speck of light, barely visible against the vastness of space. This image has become an enduring symbol of the fragility and uniqueness of our planet, a reminder that Earth is just one small part of a much larger universe. As we reflect on Voyager 1's journey, we are reminded of the importance of exploration and the value of seeking out new knowledge. The spacecraft's mission has not only expanded our understanding of the solar system but has also inspired a new generation of scientists and engineers to continue the exploration of space. The legacy of the Voyager mission will live on in the discoveries it has made and in the spirit of exploration that it embodies. Voyager 1's journey is a testament to the power of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. For over four decades, this spacecraft has traveled through the vastness of space, uncovering mysteries that have challenged our understanding of the universe. As it continues its journey into interstellar space, Voyager 1 carries with it the hopes and dreams of all humanity, a symbol of our enduring quest to explore the unknown. The discoveries made by Voyager 1 have not only expanded our knowledge of the solar system but have also inspired us to continue the exploration of space, pushing the boundaries of what we know and what we can achieve. As we look to the future, we can only imagine what other secrets the universe holds, waiting to be uncovered by the next generation of explorers.